Breaking Bad Season 5 Episode Number 5 Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of Breaking Bad last week Heisenberg Would be the best way to describe it, man Walt Skyler The toxicity The craziness It's real, man And the way we ended the episode Jesse giving Walt the watch the episode ending somebody mentioned in the comments that the little at, at the end of the episode the ticking of the watch that I zoomed in on and then the way we ended it it, it, it kind of I, I think I mentioned it kind of sounded like a gun gunshot somebody in the comments mentioned it kind of sounded like a bomb right like a bomb timer going off and it's kind of representation of Mike you know saying that wall is a ticking time bomb I never, I, I didn't really think of it like that, but after I read that, that makes a lot of sense, bro, which is kind of a cool little detail that they put in, you know, I am assuming that's probably what they were going for, but I'm excited to check out this week's episode, this season has been nothing short of fantastic, man, the cooking montages have been great, the storyline has been great, um, the stuff going on with Mike, Jesse, and Walt, their new business has been great, but I... 1000% think it's definitely going to fail. There's too many things going on. Wall in his ego, it's there's too much in play for it, man. I feel like it's just it's a matter of time before it falls apart and completely explodes. Lydia, is she going to get killed? Was she the one to put the tracker on the stuff? I don't know, but I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. So, guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel. You do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. This is a kid? Oh, no. Is he going to run into a... Uh... Is he going to run in and find, find some meth or something out here, maybe? Or a body or something connecting to Walt and Jesse and Mike. Bro, being in a setting like this just makes me think back to the first episode. So crazy, man, how far we've come. Oh, shit. How did you spot that tarantula from way over there, bro? Quit playing with me, man. Does this man just come out here and collect tarantulas? I don't fuck with spiders, man. Y'all know that. I really don't. Is that really it? There's got to be something else. This has to connect to the story somehow, some way. Train? Huh? What? Why? I don't understand, bro. It's going to connect some way, somehow. Imagine being called on set. They're like, yeah, all you got to do is come out here, ride this dirt bike around, then pick up a tarantula. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, though. I don't mess with spiders, man. I don't. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, Steve, would you mind if... Uh, I, I've, I've got to run something by Hank, if it's all right. Yeah. yeah hey, somebody got to go chase the bad guys. <laughs> well, yeah. hey. it's a pleasure seeing you again. You going to talk to him about the kids and Skyler? Oh, man. Dude, I can't... It's Every time I see him here, it's like, holy shit. And what about the, uh, the whole idea of talking to somebody? I mean, geez. actually, she's she already found someone. Yeah. Peter... I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on his last name, Peter. Uh, anyway, he's out in Rio Rancho. I wonder if he's lying about that. I'm a, he, he, 100 percent, he's lying about that because you can't talk to somebody about what's going on. Skyler doesn't love me anymore. And I don't know what to do, Hank. I don't. She. She says that I'm a bad influence on the kids. This is so messed up. It's just making Skyler look worse. Hell, the guts you showed uh, uh, going toe to toe with cancer, let alone, that's, that's, that's an inspiration to me, you know? I, I, well, I've made mistakes, you, yeah, know? I, uh, you know? Yeah, I know. I know. Listen, I'm, I'm going to get a coffee. You want, you want a coffee? Fucking gaslighter, bro! The cream and sugar? Yeah. yeah. Hank, I'm sorry. No, 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 what if I can sound like an engine? <laughs> bro, Walt, you a fucking gaslighter, bro. I can't stand it. He's just making Skyler look worse and worse. That is insane, man. Oh, he just did this to get into Hank's computer, huh? To tap into his shit, huh? So he can figure out what's going on with everything.
That was close, bro. You know, you, you two are really great together. Oh my gosh, man. If you yell for help, try to give the man some kind of coded message or otherwise tip him off, I'm going to pull out my pistol and shoot you in the head. Same goes for panicking, breaking down into tears. Remember how you like to do that. It happens <laughs> this time. I am going to pull my pistol out and I am going to shoot you in the head. He'll do it, bro. That's what Walt planted is all part of this plan, huh? Oh my gosh. Dude, the delivery from Mike, his actor, fantastic, bro. It's just that I was in our warehouse supervising a shipment of chemicals when I noticed a device on the bottom of one of our barrels of methylene. Set that barrel aside for me, if you would, and I'll look into it and get back to you. And uh, in the meantime, mum's the word, all right? Yeah, all right, sure thing. So he didn't really know about it, or at least he appears to not. You don't know anything about GPS trackers on a methylene barrel, do you? Matter of Houston, I'm talking about. No, nobody from my team planted anything. Why? No, I don't know. Figure as much. All right, thanks. Wow. So they do think it was her. No, 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 no. You're making a mistake. This, this was not me. I, I swear to God, I didn't do it. I think she's telling the truth. It wasn't her. He's telling me you guys didn't do something as lame brain as put a GPS tracker on the outside of a barrel of methylamine. One of your marks for the Madrigal Warehouse in Houston. Uh, who's asking? Did, did someone find him? It wasn't her. Lydia just got her life saved. You can't even get us a single barrel. Who said anything about barrels? I'm talking about an ocean of the stuff oh maybe from where she gets it from bro mike has the history with her you know and the hit thing he took personally there are men who used to work with gus fring in custody right now i know they know everything about me everything some of them even know about you assuming you're the master chemist they're Jesus. always talking about walt's gonna want to kill them he's gonna get their names i gave him a list of names but instead of handling it he's protecting them so i hired someone else at that point there was no option but to add mike to the list Walt's going to like that. This ocean of methylamine that you claim you can get your hands on. The lighting, half his face dark. What are we talking about? Literally. How does 24,000 gallons sound? It stops at a rail yard outside Flagstaff where it gets broken down and rebuilt. But the methylamine always moves on, destined for our pesticide concerns in Texas and Oklahoma, which means that it passes right through your home state. We're about to do a heist? How are we going to take that off the track? Keep in mind, I'm taking a huge risk. Supplying this information, I expect to be paid. <laughs> uh, your payment is not being killed. Once they get word, the FBI and Homeland Security are going to swoop down with choppers on us so fast it'll make our heads spin. And there is no hiding in that open country. We got to kill people. I have done this long enough to know that there are two kinds of heist. Those where the guys get away with it and those that leave witnesses. Mike's right, bro. Bro, I get it. Jesse doesn't want to kill anybody ever. Well, he's kind of like indifferent to it. I feel like if, it, if it's got to be done to make the plane w plan work, right? Uh, bro, but it's like, what are you going to siphon into? You're going to get like a, a, a tanker truck and siphon it into that? And then where are you going to hide it and park it and stuff? It's like, oh, uh, I mean, if you kill the two people, I guess there's no witnesses. Maybe you get like a milk tanker, something like that. I don't know, man. And it's like we got to have somewhere to store all that shit permanently, too. I mean, I know once they get it back, they can siphon it off into, like, barrels or something, right? And I think Mike, uh, I think uh, Walt is going to work with Lydia to get the names and kill the guy so he doesn't have to keep paying them at some point. Because she mentioned that. Why is making nothing not an option? Walter? Let me tell you why. It's because you're nine guys in lockup, right? You broke it, you pay for it. We talked about this plenty. Well, maybe already. we better talk about it a little more because what it sounds like you're telling me, Mike. Jesse's tired of it. What if we can rip off that train and no one ever knows it got robbed? What's Jesse thinking, man? He's come up with some good plans as of late, man. Jesse's character development has been top tier, man. I love it. From season one to being this just kid pushed off as nothing to now. Maybe. Maybe that's what the kid in the desert's gonna have to do with this, right? Maybe he's out there and sees it happen. It's perfect. Yeah. We do it here. We do it right here. 
Are they gonna break the bridge or something? Bro, I love when they do, when Breaking Bad does this, like you just gotta wait for the plan to come together to see what's really gonna happen, right? Like, you can try and piece it together, but most of the times you're not gonna. So are they going to try and stop the train here and then siphon it from the train into these barrels and they'll be buried underground, then they'll come back for them later? Is this the dude that was working for the pest company? This one. Okay, they're going to siphon the stuff from the, the train into one barrel and siphon the, stu siphon the stuff from one barrel into the train. Mind if I ask you a question? No, go ahead. Well, I get why we want the tank for the methylamine, but why this other one for the water? The tanker we're gonna hit gets weighed once when it gets loaded in Long Beach, and then again when it's unloaded in Texas. If the weights don't match, the train company's gonna know it got robbed. Aqueous methylamine is water-based, yet it weighs slightly less than water. So, a little bit we less will water be than removing a thousand gallons of methylamine from the tanker car, but replacing it with about nine-tenths of that volume in water. Out of 24,000 gallons, it'll only amount to about 4% dilution, so. But yes, yeah. you're right. They will notice, at which point they will blame China for sending a marginally weaker batch. Oof. And that could cause bigger problems. Are you seriously kicking me out of my own house? Are you seriously doing that? We are not kicking you out of anywhere, son. We love you. And this is your house as much as it is ours. But your mom and I need some time alone. And you know that. We explain that to you. Give me the exact reason or I'm not going anywhere. I think Walt's gonna snap. Because we're your parents and you're our child. That's reason enough. Now please do as I ask. Now. Bro, oh, he's gonna s okay. He he did listen. I thought he was gonna snap, man. And Walt was gonna freak out. I don't accept that. You're my wife. I'm not your wife. I'm your hostage. But since you insist on keeping me imprisoned, I'll make you a deal. I will launder your money. I'll keep your secrets. But the kids will stay at Hank and Marie's. You already said you won't tell his secrets to the cops. There's nothing you can say that'll convince me there won't come a day that somebody will knock on that door looking to harm you or me or all of us. And when that day comes, the children cannot be here. Mm. You agree to that? And I will be whatever kind of partner you want me to be. She just wants to keep her kids safe, man. She's giving herself up. How do you explain that to the kids, though, that they can't ever come home? Out burying bodies? Oh, she noticed his hands are dirty. Robbing a train. Man, she it's its like the thing she's willing to do to keep her kids safe, you know? She said she's a hostage and everything, and she said she'll be whatever he wants. It's like, bro, the thing she's willing to do just to keep her kids safe. But it's like, how do you explain that to the kids that they can't ever come home? I'm sure they can visit, maybe, but, like, they can't live there anymore. How do you explain that to them? Especially someone like Junior, who's older to understand. Holly, yeah, she's so young. Okay, Mr. White. Everything's set. Bro, something's going to go wrong, or that kid is going to see them. Maybe that's what it is. The kid at the start is going to end up seeing them do this, and they're going to have to kill the kid, bro. I hope not, because that's going to be some shit. Hey, Bill Burr, that's what they're using him for. Is he stopping the truck here because it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be an issue with it or something, and this is what they're gonna do to get the train to stop? This is peak Breaking Bad though, bro, when their plans go into play finally, right? Which tanker is it? That very last one? Bro, get out of the way! <laughs> go, go, go. And so it begins, man. Hey, don't one of you guys know about engines? Oh, of course you do. That's why they call you an engineer, right? He's gonna get their help, man. I wonder what they did to disable it, if they even did anything. The tension. I can't take it, man. There it is. Come to Papa, baby. That's liquid gold. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Dude, Jesse comes up with some good shit, don't he? Is that a little thing he flipped under there, like a kill switch for it? Then we all push. All right, it's worth a try. Bro, ain't no way they gonna be able to push this thing. Not with a full load. Are you kidding me? Water's going in now. We're going with water now. Mike's got the easiest job out of all of them. Just stand in the bush and watch. Yeah. Bill Burr ain't even helping. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that truck is filled with so much dirt. You guys are not moving that. Especially on a train track and like bumps and shit. You got to push it over. It'd be one thing if it was completely flat ground. Oh, no. Is this the kid? Does he see? Oh, no. It's just a truck. Oh, shit. You know anything about engines? Uh, not a whole lot. Push off the tracks at least. Oh yeah, gee man, I wouldn't want you to mess up your ride. I'll go slow. You got the, the front scratch. bumper. Hey, you'll screw up your nice shiny bumper. Hey, we're running late because you, buddy. The man said it was no problem. This is a problem. Yeah, because that big boy can easily push that thing, bro. The 250? Oh man. What you gonna do, Bill Burr? What's your plan? Walter, we've got a good Samaritan on the seat. You pull your guys off that train right now. We're not done yet. Take what you got and go, Walt. It's better than having to kill people or having the plan fail. You don't need the exact number, man. At least you're getting shit. Literally easy as hell, man. I said get out of there. Bro, somebody's gonna get fucked over in this or something's not gonna get reattached. They're not gonna be able to close up the shafts or something, dude. They are back in the locomotive. Not a board right now, you are gonna get us all busted. Get the hell out of there, Walt! What are you doing? Fuck your ego, man! Come on! Idiot, dude. He's gonna hey, get somebody fucked over. Hold it! Hold it steady! I hate Walter so much, dude. Like, you don't need that exact amount. You could have said fuck it and took half, even, bro. At least you're getting Close it. it up. Close it up! You better make sure you seal it all back up right and tight, bars. You better hope Jesse don't get ran over either, dude. Oh my gosh. Jesse! Jesse! Bro! Oh my god! Todd's gonna break a leg or something, dude. Oh, bro, I thought he was gonna roll under the track. Dude, that is insane. Jesse. Oh my god, he didn't have other, any other choice. It's like those people that be doing that shit today. Those motherfuckers that go out there and do that in traffic and under trains just because. Oh my god. Yeah, bitch! Uh, yeah, uh, bitch! Uh, Let that out. Did we forget something? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The kid. Oh no, bro. Mike is going to kill him. Oh no, no. Todd. No. No. Oh. Bro, what? Oh my god. Todd really just did that shit. Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 5 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Todd really did that shit, making the executive decision like that. Bro, Todd doing that makes me think he's killed people before, bro. I thought he was just working for the pest business. I know they said they set up, like, robberies and shit. But, like, bro, the way he just did that to a kid like it was nothing makes me think he's done that shit before. What the fuck is his background? Oh my god, I mean, like, what would have the plan have been for the kid? I know Jesse would have tried to keep him alive for sure. Mike would have wanted to kill him because he's a witness. Walt probably would have agreed. Dude, I don't know, man. What the hell?
I, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, once we, I realized we were in the desert, I was predicting that was going to happen, that the kid was going to be there and see them, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, like, their plans are always so good, but there's always one little thing that comes up. Something like that, dude. Just like with the magnet plan. It was good, but something came up. The picture got broken, and they saw the routing numbers for the banks. It's like, oh, my gosh, man. There's always some little thing that happens. I can't believe it, man. He really just shot that kid dead. I mean, but it's like, again, what would have the plan have been? Like, would the, could you have trusted the kid to not say anything? Like, you maybe you could have fed him a bullshit story, right? Maybe you could have fed him a bullshit story that he believed and would have thought it was nothing. Like, you could have told him you were workers for the train and you had to siphon some stuff off and that's why the train was stopped. And he's just a little kid, so he's not going to think anything of it right like he's pretty fucking young he's probably not gonna know what's going on if you tell him some something like that like you were workers for the train or something i don't know some type of lie he's pretty young you know maybe maybe he would believe it but dude he just shot him dead man that's gonna fuck with jesse more because it's like he didn't even want to kill these two dudes that were working on the train who were older adults and you know how much he cares for kids bro so it's like dude this is gonna destroy him man oh my gosh I knew something had to have gone wrong, dude. I just like, bro, this show, it, it blows my mind more and more every episode. Same thing with the start of the episode. Wall is a fucking gaslighter, bro. Like, and he's just shitting on Skylar more and more to make her look horrible, all to play into his plan. Like the whole reason he went to see Hank at the start was so he could bug the place for the Lydia situation. And it's like, what did he do when he went in there? He used Skylar and shit on her and made things look worse. Like, oh, she doesn't love me anymore and this and that after saying that she cheated on him and stuff and then saying she thinks he's a bad father and stuff. And it's like, if, if, if Hank tells Marie about that or Marie talks to her about that, she can't say why. You know what I mean? Same reason he's not sending her to talk to a, a therapist. She can't talk to anybody about this shit. You know, and it's like, you see how much she was willing to protect her kids, bro. She literally told him, I'm not your wife, I'm your hostage. Which, that's what she feels like she is. She feels like she can't get out, she can't leave. And I know people in the comments are like, oh, Skylar wanted to be a part of this, this, and that, and everything. And she's in it, and now she wants out. But it's like, bro, this is different. You guys cannot deny that Walt has changed. You know, it's one thing to be cooking meth and, like, coming home and trying to treat your family good. It's another thing to be doing the things he's doing and forcing her to do stuff you know obviously we saw at the end of the episode like two episodes ago he kind of forced himself on her at least that's what it seemed like they were insinuating i don't know if that's exactly what happened but that's definitely what it seemed like they were insinuating and just the way he treats her that like the conversation they had last episode you know she's trying to figure out ways to get the kids away from him and she's like I'll, he's like i'll just have you you know i'll have you put in a, a mental a mental facility if you try and hurt yourself you know you can't tell Walt Jr. that his dad's a wife beater so like what's your plan what's your play you can't do anything you're stuck here essentially and it's like this episode we see she's like I'll do anything you want just keep the kids out of it man like a mother's love man it's crazy you know small things add up add up add up to get to where we are now because it's not like we just randomly flipped a switch, bro. Like, you think back to season one to now, there's been moments where, like, okay, that was pretty fucking dark, or okay, Walt, that was kind of fucked up. And it happens more and more and more and more and more and more and more to the point where now we're like, Jesus Christ, he's just a horrible person, or he's a very fucked up person at this point. And it's not like, man, one day we just woke up and flipped a switch. No, there's been progressions throughout the story time and time again. And I myself, too. During those moments, I've made excuses for him. I've been like, oh, it's whatever, or oh, this or that. But it's like, all that has led us to where we are now, man. And here we are, bro. Here we are. <sighs> I don't know what's to come next. They got the methylamine. They killed the kids. So it essentially went off to where they won't get noticed, hopefully. You know, like you said, they'll notice it's a little different, but they'll blame China. But as far as them getting caught, they're probably, they're probably golden you know but i don't know what's gonna happen next man jesse's gonna be destroyed by this i feel like walt's not gonna care mike's gonna be like it had to be done kid we couldn't leave a witness maybe you know jesse kills todd or he was mad at something along those lines i don't know dude but man the show is so good with its build-up episodes to this you know what i mean like 
not like this has like we've been getting methylamine and stuff like this all kind of took place in this episode so i can't even really necessarily say build up episodes more so build up episode like the build up throughout this episode was fantastic man from the start with lydia all the way to the heist at the end here on the train it's just it's fantastic and it's so cool to see jesse being the one to take control and come up with some of these plans man you know what i mean like season one jesse captain cook all the way to now it's it's fantastic he's 100 percent my favorite character in the show mike is a great character obviously walt too like I, I hate his character right now but like he's a great character you know what i mean just because i hate a character doesn't mean they're not a good character it just means they're so well written man and the acting is phenomenal even the like for 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 mike his actor plays it so good dude like at the start when he was talking to lydia just dead faced all the time it's like he never has any expressions man and i love it like sometimes he you can see he's a little bit angry you know emotion wise but it's it's just so good man it truly truly is i'm excited to see where we go with it next week so guys i hope you all have a wonderful day full length reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link will be in the description down below but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.